Welcome back to Camping with the Coles. And another episode of Trailer Tours. In this episode, we're going to be checking out a couple of hybrid travel trailers. Hybrid trailers are a great step up from pop-up trailers. They have the tip-outs, two or three tip-outs, and they accommodate larger families. You have the benefit of a small, hard-sided trailer when you're traveling down the road. But when you get to the campsite, it opens up nice and big. Lots of living space. Lots of light, lots of cross breeze. That was our last travel trailer yeah, before we, we moved we to the it. one we're at now. Yes. So let's have a look at Pete and Connie's mm-hmm. 2017 Palomino Solaire mm-hmm. 213X, mm-hmm. and that is a 21-foot triple hybrid. Here we are with Pete <laughs> and Connie, longtime friends of ours, and they're going to give us a tour of their trailer. So I guess, Pete, you want to do the outside, and Connie sure. do the inside? Sure, sure. Okay, yeah. well, let's start. All right, well. What do we got here? Welcome to our trailer. We have a... Uh, a Palomino Solaire. It's a 21 foot triple hybrid with a slide. Uh, all the amenities you can ask for in a trailer, um, and yet it packs up and you can still fit it in your driveway, so to speak. Nice. Automatic okay. awning, like they all have. Um, it has three queen beds. Um, if you go around this side, you'll see the other side. It's not the biggest slide available, but it works. There's another bed on the other A little bit corner. of extra room. Yeah. Then we have a bike rack that's on the front tongue. There's an additionary rack at the back. We wanted to carry more, um, but I don't recommend that. It bounces on the on the bumper, and uh, we've already had that crack once, so we stopped using that method altogether. Yeah, we've had uh, that happen. I wouldn't happen encourage to us. it. Does have an outdoor shower, nice. which is sort of you kind of see it underneath yeah. there. I've used that a few times. Uh, if you if the comfort station too long or come back from the beach, yeah, clean your nice feet off. off. Hot and cold water is right here. So perfect. It's all good. Excellent. And it's not much different over here. I mean, we our setup is almost the same every time we go camping. If we have a second picnic table, it'd still be there. Mm-hmm. Um, we just configure our outside appliances a little different. We primarily do all our camping outside still. We do our cooking, dishes, everything out here. And if it's a real rain, mm-hmm. then we'll cook inside. But typically we're always out here. You That's what we all see set. out here. <laughs> um, so inside, uh, Connie will take you around all inside. Right, let's go on all in. Right. Show us around. All right, so inside, I was gonna say, um, this is one of the tip outs on this end, and this is where the slide out is in our sofa. Um, The sofa also pulls out into a bed. I use in behind the sofa for tons of storage. Oh, see, you're lucky you have storage behind yours. Tons of storage is behind here. Right now we've got our movie bag back there, but when we pack up, that's where I put the stove and things that always go camping with us. Yep, so don't forget them. In one spot. Um, We have our dinette here, the TV. I can store stuff underneath Mm -hmm. the table when we're traveling. Um, Nice cupboards up here, easy storage, nice amenities. Easy, handy, easy to get to. Yeah. Um, we also have all storage in here. Use this as our games cupboard. Yep, got one. Everything for that to go. Very nice. nice big windows. Yeah. That we have here. Mm-hmm. This was really important, Pete. If you come in. Oh yes, we must. We s- have to talk so we about have this. to talk about this. Because when we shopped for a trailer, it was pretty tricky to find a trailer for someone that is. How tall are you? I'm six seven. And there's head headroom in here. Yeah. In Mike's trailer, uh, I I do. Yeah, the this. trailer that we were just in. This trailer, I can. Stand this one up you can stand up and straight. Walk around. We have, another unique part of our trailer here is that we sleep this way, this way lengthwise. Right. So because I put a little cushion out there because stick my feet on. <laughs> Yeah. And allows us to slide out to go to the washroom yeah. and come back without climbing over anybody. Perfect. Good idea. And nice for the tall people. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The that's downfall an issue. of this trail, it's it's small, right. small dinette. Like I'm a big guy, I don't sit very well at the table, which yeah. we're primarily outside. Right. So would you hit your head on the uh, nope. air conditioner up here? No. Nope. You're still oh, good at that too. Look at that. Oh, nice. Yeah. This tall guy can get through all that, which is very really nice. Good. Also a cool feature that a warm feature that came in handy last night on a cooler night is our beds in the in this Palomino. The mattresses are heated. Heated. Oh, nice. So we have a dial here. We can plug in all of our mattress queen mattresses, and we have a dial, and our mattresses are heated. Still, your tip belts are still cool. Yeah. No matter how much your furnace comes on or how much you try and heat the place, that's still technically outside. Definitely. Yeah. So this is another one of our beds here 
And right now, when it's just the two of us, it is our storage. Storage, storage and I our know. clothes. I think everybody tends to do that. Is our clothes. Yeah. And Keeps there's it clean. a third tip out here. Nice. Where it's kind of like a nice little bunky back there. And I'm kind of hidden sure. out of the way. Yeah. And I was going to say, there. our daughter likes that. And it's a private room back there. You might want to step in, Ben, and see her storage unit that she has up there. Um, the person that had it before us, we call him Palomino Jim. We bought this from uh, a gentleman online, actually. Um, it is um, a boat storage box that he adapted up there for storage. I've used our cupboards kind of as a pantry system. Yep. which works out really well when we're traveling and keeping stuff up everywhere is the same. So mm -hmm. everybody knows Perfect. where to get it. Um, our bathroom. This was also a great feature for my husband because he can fit in this shower. Go we'll figure, six foot seven and can fit in the shower of the trailer. Yeah. There's a dome, right? Yep. Yeah. So yeah. there's a dome up in here. That's where your head and goes. he's yeah. able to fit. Yeah. <laughs> he disappears, partially. That's where his shoulders go, up in the <laughs> yeah. dome. Yeah. So he's able to fit in there. Awesome. So this is a nice trailer for tall people. The system up here is also our DVD player that's hooked up to the TV. Yep. So we can shoot in a movie on a day that we need to. Or I think if it's like raining. most campers, our oven is a bread box too. Yeah, yeah. That's yes. what we use. Yep. It's Good great for storage. storage. <laughs> great and if you storage. do need it as the yeah. oven, you've got it. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. So what are the, anything that you like or more or dislike about this trailer? Well, what I would dislike is the dinette. The dinette. It's yeah. small. It is small. Yeah, um, for you. If you know the slide that was a little bigger, yep. great. But compromising with that, I can stand in this trailer. Yeah. So, which is hard for you to find. Yeah. I mean, we've had on rainy days, we've had six, seven people in here, well, our whole family. Yeah. And we just put a chair there, put a chair there, and we all find a spot, and you can yep. either watch a, a quick movie to let the rain go by, or. We can still set a table here if we wanted to mm -hmm. to put a game. I mean, yep. you're camping. You're not going to have right. the luxury of everything no. you want. No. It's all got to be in compromise, right? But you can do. You can still do everything you want to do. Yeah, excellent. So. And for me, a con would be the storage. Um, you like more? I'd like more. Yeah. And more hidden storage, I think. Yeah. Um, I think that's the thing that when they build trailers, they need to think about a little bit. Mm -hmm. Not everybody wants their clothes bags out. No, yeah. no. And there's, there's a lot of trailers with actual cupboards to put your clothes in. Yeah. yeah. And we tend to use the cupboards for games, for dishes, yeah. for stuff that has to come all the time. Yeah. I mean, you and your clothes you want in and out. You but could, um, yeah. something different, I think, or a little bit more storage uh, for clothes, I think would be great. I don't want to put my clothes down in the ground. Yeah. Um, so these cupboards down here are pretty much null and void for that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. People don't want to go down and search in a dark cupboard for... But you're camping. For your, yeah. For your... <laughs> clear uh, bins, we're, I guess. We're, we're, we're legs. <laughs> you know, it's hard to complain about it. We're dry. Yeah. You're warm. Yeah. So those are all know. the positives and definitely yeah. having a nice fridge, bathroom, and I still every time have a shower or run the tap and can't believe we have warm water. I know. While we're living on dirt. They used to have a that is pop just up before and then they tented for years before yeah. that. Yeah. So. so to have warm water. Luxuries. We paid our dues. <laughs> yes. We paid our dues. Yeah. And to have warm water that was, I still, uh, just in awe. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you so much, you thank too. You. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's have a look at Mike and Carlene's StarCraft launch. It's a 2018 and it is a 23 foot hybrid. Let's do it. Okay, here we are with our friends, Mike and Carlene. We've been friends with them forever and they have their little grandbaby, Kate, who's gonna help us give a tour of, our, of their trailer. So Mike, you can start out by showing us and telling us about the outside of the trailer. What do you have? We have a 2018 StarCraft launch. It's uh, 23 foot long and uh, with, ha with three tip outs and one slide out. Uh, the awning has uh, got a light on the close part of the trailer and uh, well, we'll just go around. It's a nice big awning, it covers the, the majority of the trailer. Two propane tanks on the front, electric jack, uh, slide out here. That's a big slide out. Yeah, with storage on the inside, the slide out is the dinette where the. Yeah, for a triple hybrid, that's you don't find that too often. Yeah. Yeah, that's good storage. And a tip out here, water shower. supply in there, outdoor shower, exhaust vent, and your city connection for if you have water at the park, low drain point. 
I like having this on this side of the trailer. We have ours on the other side of the trailer, right where a picnic table usually goes. And this is really hot coming out of here, really hot air. You don't mm -hmm. want that hitting you. You have levels on all four sides, so you know where you are, and looks like we're pretty good on this one. Nice. Uh, tip out on the back end, electrical connection there. And on this side, the water heater is right there so that it uh, you can open and close that to get at the shutoff for it, the gas into it and the uh, relief valve so you can pop it open when you're uh, filling it and when you're draining it. What do you have here in your tree? Well, that's not a tree, that's peat. Oh, there's the tree. <laughs> well, we, uh, we love our sports and our fun times and so I just rigged up a basketball rim and backboard with some wood on the back and some eye hooks. As you do. And bring along a ladder and some straps and <laughs> wherever we are we can play basketball. Oh, nice shot. <laughs> I'll add a swish sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, All right. So, for the outside. Thank you. Well, uh, Carlene, do you want to take us in and give us a little tour you of the inside? Yeah. And I like how you put these little uh, pads on the steps so they're a little bit softer to Just walk Velcroed on. Velcroed on. Velcroed on. So we can strip them off. And yep. Hold them down. So look at the space in here. We're a family of six plus the granddaughter. And as you can see, we got queen on either end. They're huge. And one on the side. We can put the playpen. Yeah, room for the baby in the playpen here. Chair fits right a lot there. of people ask about baby equipment, and yeah. this trailer accommodates babies perfectly. Yep, yeah, the high chair. We can still get around. Yep. Yeah. We have uh, the couch is in a, a bed for future for Kathleen. Kathleen sofa. Maybe brother, sister, somebody. Oh, here's hoping. <laughs> yeah, there's this unique to what. I don't know if they have any of the new ones have this, but all along the edge here, there's oh, storage. Yes, no, we didn't have that in ours. Wow. The kids put all their clothes in there for a two week vacation. Perfect. There's even another cupboard. Wow. Where you can put a bag or yeah. you know, things to get Duffel out bag. of the way. We keep our bar up there. <laughs> Perfect, out of the baby's height. <laughs> yeah. We bought a lot of of the Shelving. shoe racks. Oh, that's a good idea. From Dollar Yeah. yeah. So all of those. So, so they're more have, than just shoes. So you can get double layers of yeah. everything. Just put a wood board across. There you go. So, I, another uh, great yeah, idea. Yeah, he did that for the dishes. We don't do that for our clothes. And there's storage above here. So in the summer, yep, this is full of towels. Towels, blankets, whatever. All the beach stuff. And again, two layers of clothes. So good. the wow. shoe racks again. The, uh, the kids go here. Michael goes here. The other kids go there. And then Let's I see. use the pantry. And I just got a Dollarama thing. Yep. Dollarama is a camper's And it's dream. got like more storage underneath. So we so can plenty. do all the bulk shopping underneath. Yes. Excellent. When there's nobody here, that becomes the storeroom. Yeah. Uh, when the, they are here, everything that's in there, goes somewhere yeah there's room for it we just don't have to win uh, yes we got pantry yeah. here so you've got tons yeah, the bathroom again yes for a weekend so become storage, storage too yeah that's what we did with our hybrid too yeah great and you put this tension bar that's up right. there uh, it's just a shower bar from dollarama and a shower curtain so then this becomes our change room when we have Perfect. company they come back here, you can change. That's a good seats. idea. It's a great idea, yeah. And yes. it's just spring loaded, so you yes. can tighten it. So, do you take it down when you travel, or nope. does it stay? It stays up all year round. I just down. take the curtain down in yeah. the winter, so the mice, mice don't eat it. Perfect. Wow. Yeah, then this one has pantries. Right? Yep. And tea towels, whatever. Nice. Sweet. There's just there's something oh. with outside that can't make that. Yeah. Then I bought drawers. Oh my goodness, here we keep going. It doesn't end. Right? So, we have all our cutlery uh, yeah you know the things that you need access to but Good. the drawers made it more sense other than a big empty space does this this mix down into a bed as well it does it does so like that looks like two adults could maybe sleep yeah. on there we tend to yeah could it would two be tight. four six eight so like nine could possibly sleep yeah. in here maybe we nice. tend to eat in so it never yeah. goes down but yeah. it, you know, it's possible it's a mm -hmm. oh that's awesome yeah so I guess what are the pros that you like? 
boat trailer? It, well, from the cup going from a tent trailer. Space. Yes. We never had the slide out. Yeah, I makes a difference. I can't believe how much time we spend as a family, you know, in here when yeah. the weather's bad, watching movies, playing games, right. whatever. And with the granddaughter, it's been great because we can have a, a napping place, quiet. Yeah. Right? Well, this is awesome. Yeah. Any drawbacks? you can think of only when something goes wrong only with yeah which tends yeah. to happen on everybody's but we've trailer. been lucky so far yeah fingers crossed well, very yeah. good well thank you so much you're very, very welcome i love hybrids um, our first travel trailer was a 2004 starcraft travel star 19 ck it was a hybrid had two tip outs on it if uh, i had to do it again i'd get a triple hybrid yeah just because there was five of us and poor amy had a sleep time <laughs> on our jackknife sofa but it's, it was still great. I like the openness of the tip outs. Yeah. And you get a good view when you open up the zippers. You get great view, great cross breeze. And it served our family very well, all yeah. five of us. We yep. did years of, uh, of camping in that. Seven, well, we had it seven years, I guess. Yeah. Seven or eight years. Yeah. Yeah, the hybrids are a great uh, step up from a pop up camper. You see a lot of families have them in provincial parks. They're not, the weight wise, are still pretty. Yeah, low. pretty light. Yeah. You don't need a big pickup truck yeah, to tow. Yeah, it's not a huge trailer to deal with. In two weeks' time, we're going to be coming out with uh, another travel trailer tour, and it's going to be for trailers like our size. Our size, 25. Hard sided yeah, about 25 feet. Next, we will be reviewing Stephen Patty's. And that is a 2017 Passport Ultralight, 25-foot travel trailer. And Stephen Ingrid's. And that is a 2022 Northern Spirit, 2554BH. It's a bunkhouse. So we'll be checking out those two trailers. That's coming up in two Stay weeks. Stay tuned. Time. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye. Happy camping.